Hi guys, got a suggestion that I should make a neutrally buoyant rubber band powered submarine out of a soda bottle. Well, this is my bottle that's currently floating in my bar. For a propeller, I'm going to use this, which comes off of this old Christmas decoration. It's the propeller in the middle of the fan, or windmill. What I need to do is work out how to make the bottle neutrally buoyant. The advantage of it being rubber band powered means that I can fill it with water and it will have no effect on the motor. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fill it with water, see whether it sinks or floats and then either add weights to make it sink a bit more or add some polystyrene to make it float. Well that answers the first question. If I fill the bottle with water it does sink. There we go, a couple of very small pieces of polystyrene and the bottle's floating again. Here's the propeller assembly. I've bent a piece of bicycle spoke to make the hook in the top of the bottle. Got a bead in between to give us a bit of space. And then we've got the propeller on the back and I'll put some hot glue here to hold it in place. Now I'll drill a hole in the bottom of the bottle, just here, reasonably large, so that I can push a piece of string all the way through the bottle to pull the rubber band all the way back. And then we'll have a piece of barbecue skewer or something across the end here just to hold the rubber band. I've put a little bit of wire on the end of this thicker bit of wire. So I can poke it through the hole in the end of my bottle. Attach my rubber band to it. And pull it back through the bottle. Catch it on a piece of barbecue skewer. So I should be able to wind it up. So the propulsion works. Now all we've got to do is sort out the buoyancy. I've hot glued a couple of bits of stiff plastic to a couple of bent paper clips and I shall now put them onto my submarine using some rubber bands and use them as diving planes. 
I've adjusted the trim and I've got my dive planes pointing down so hopefully it will stay near the bottom of the bath. really need is a big swim pool to try it out. But that seems to be working fine. It tends to want to rise out of the water when the motor pushes it forwards and the dive planes keep it going back down again. I think that'll do. I think we've demonstrated it. So a quick summary, what have we got? Um, a soda bottle, pop bottle, whatever you want to call it. Rubber band, uh, rubber band motor going through the middle, propeller on the back. Few small pieces of polystyrene to give it a bit of buoyancy because it naturally sinks when it's full of water, and some dive planes, just bits of plastic on bent paper clips, so that when it goes forwards instead of going up, it goes down. Job done. <laughs>